this uh, response quickly whenever I ask you a question. Okay, this is the image of, uh, this is actually a diagram of compound microscope. And we're going to learn how to draw this. Now you see that we are going to apply two cases here. And this is uh, the first case that we're going to apply. You can see that we have uh, the object, which is between F and 2F. That is the object. Okay, can you see that? Okay, this is the object. And then, we can see here is the image. Okay, we have uh, we have read this last week, how to draw this diagram. And then we have another situation where the object is between lens, this is the lens, and F. So this is the object, and you are going to get the virtual image over here. And we are going to apply these two situations uh, in a diagram of compound microscope. Okay, let us apply this one first. Okay, look again. Here is the object. So that is what we're going to do. Okay. Okay, I hope you can see clearly. Now, you know, look here. Okay, I'm going to use another color. Pen. Okay. Now. Oh. Here's my ruler. Remember, when you draw this diagram, it needs to be very precise. That's why you need to use a ruler. Okay, here's my ruler. Okay, I'm going to draw a line which is parallel to principal axis. Okay. And okay, before that, let us try to look carefully one more time. This is objective lens. Okay, so this is the objective lens. This is F O. Remember, this is F O. So this focal point belongs to this lens. And we have F O here, which belongs to this lens also. And then we have another one. This is eyepiece lens. And this eyepiece lens has its own focal point also. This is FE, eyepiece lens. Uh, focal point for eyepiece lens. This one is for this one. And we have this focal point FE, which belongs to this lens also. So we have two lenses in, we remember. Okay, now let us uh, draw this. Okay, now the first uh, line you should draw it is one. Okay, this is the line you need to draw, the first line you should draw. This is actually the line of light ray, which is parallel to principal axis. Okay, you can see that it is parallel to principal axis. And then what happens is it will be refracted towards F. Okay, draw a line over here. 
okay, and draw the, draw the arrow. And then another rule we need to apply is the line of light ray which passes through the center of the lens where there is no there, there is no refraction. So we have a straight line like this. And there will be an intersection somewhere. So uh, please make sure you need to draw the direction. Okay, now, can you tell me where is the image? Okay, here is the image. Okay, I use another color, red color, to show the image. Okay. Don't forget to draw, draw the arrow. Okay, this is the image from the first lens, which is objective lens. So now we have discussed uh, the first one. Okay, this one. We have already applied this one. So we have drawn it over here. Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to apply this one. We're going to apply this one, but we make a little change here. Now the object is no longer on the top, but the object is downward like this because we try to make it similar to this one. Okay, we want to make it similar to this one, which is inverted. So, try to do it. Okay, look carefully. Light, which is parallel to principal axis. Okay, here is the principal axis. Let me change the color design. Let me use um, blue color. Okay, this is principal axis. So draw another line which is parallel to principal axis. Okay, and then okay, this is parallel. Okay, and then it will be refracted toward F. And here is F. Okay, this is F. Okay, you can see that. And then another rule where the light, which is uh, uh, the line which is passing through the center of the lens, will not be refracted. So what happens is you need to extend the line. Okay, before that you see that the, the two lines here, this line and this line is not parallel or it, is, it does not converge. So what happens is there will be no intersection. So what you need to do is you need to extend this line. You need to extend this line backward. Draw dotted line because the dotted line here actually does not exist. Okay, you must be very careful. And then another line from here. Because we need to find where is the intersection. Okay, now can you see the intersection? Can you see it? The intersection? Can you see the intersection? between the two dotted lines here. Uh, 
Okay, now you are supposed to see it over here. Can you see that? There is the intersection. So what you need to do is please draw another arrow. And remember, this time the arrow must be in a dotted line because actually the line does not exist. This is a virtual image. So draw another line, which is dotted line. And here's the arrow, head of the arrow. Okay, now, can you see the image? Can you see the image? Okay, here's the final image. And this is the object. And uh, this, what about this one? This one is the image. Image for objective lens. But actually, it is also an object for eyepiece lens. Okay. Okay, what do you think about this? You understand or not? Any question? Any question about this? So can you can I, uh, you tell me what is the characteristic of the image? What is the characteristic number one? It is magnified, All right? You can see we have twice magnification. This is the object and this is the image. You can see it has been magnified. So that is the first magnification. And then from this object for eyepiece lens, and here is the image for eyepiece lens. So we have another magnification. So we have two magnifications here. Okay, that's why you can see the image is much bigger. <coughs> I say uh, you use this microscope to see something small, for example, a cell. Okay, this is the size of the cell, and this is what you see under the microscope, which is much bigger. And the second one is what? Second characteristic. It is inverted. Okay, I say this is the object, and here is the image. You can see the image. Uh, the image is inverted actually. If you have an experience using a compound microscope, you can see this. If you move the object to the right, and then you will move. You can see the object move to the left. Or if you move the object upward a little bit, and then you see the image move downward. So this is actually inverted image. And the third one is what? It is virtual. Virtual because you can see the light here. This light and this light diverge. But they will never uh, intersect each other. But how we can see it? Because our eye, eye can focus this lens. Okay, let's say this is the lens of your eye. It will be focused to the retina. Okay, this is the retina. So your, your eye can see the image clearly. Any question? <clears throat> 